Vox Machina saved us from this threat. These wise patriots shall ensure. There they go. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> it, it can't be. You know what's interesting though? I don't want to say too much for anybody who may be watching this like the first time around, right? Just in case, because you never know, right? If you've seen the ending of season two, right? We all know that there's like this thing that happens at the last episode at the very end of season two, right? That's interesting what just happened with Vex, because as as we know, you know, so why did that happen? But when it came to the, you know, ending of the second season, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's all I'm gonna say. You guys will pick up what I'm putting down. Love this show so much. Cannot wait for third. Yes, I cannot wait either. And it is awesome how, how close they seem to get it because I haven't really seen much myself, but you guys have talked about how like they really got everything really close to how it was in the, uh, in the campaign. Every time Scanlan's his head just gets <laughs> Grog's just like, all right, let's go, buddy. Not even like the dignity of like trying to scoop him up <laughs> and go. Bro just palms his head like a basketball and is like, we out. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Takes all down the children. Quickly, come. What a go. Mmm, Alora coming in with the save, bro. She's such a goat, dog. I cannot wait to see more of her in season three. Her and Kim, I think. <sighs> Yo, for real, Crystal. I just saw what you said. Like a basketball, got no time. <laughs> Let's get the fuck. Yeah, exactly. But no, I can't wait to see more of Alora in season three, man. Especially because I know she's in there, right? And you guys have told me that she's known for like she like helped to take down a dragon. Like she was like either she was a huge help or she took one down by herself. I just can't wait to see what she's about to do. Her and Kim I right here are like crazy strong, bro. <laughs> you know what's crazy about that, bro, is that he's one of those people that, yes, he's a leader. Yes, he's high up, but he does not let that deter him from helping his people up he was right out there with the soldiers people that were guarding him okay one of the guys fell down he's like come on let's go help them up he's a real leader okay he's a real somebody who's really down for the people of his kingdom i don't want to say it wasn't even really his fault in season one right it wasn't his fault in season one because of the influence that delilah and silas had on him in season two i mean you could really see even in this like little amount of time that we saw he helps everybody up he does what he can as a leader and then that he's when he sees that his family and everybody's okay he's like all right you know what that's good i can go out smiling let me get one last look at him you know i'm relieved and yeah, he gets swept away, but he's a goat, man. He goes out like a goat. Crazy beginning to the show. Has come for you. I just realized that there are two acid dragons there because he's acid. But the lady in the beginning that made the acid cloud, right? That's like an acid cloud. Yeah, see, nah, she's, bro, she's, she's look at that bro she uses a spell that can chase down a dragon like that and with no fear either she threw that junk out captured him like that by herself by herself she's gonna be a pro i can't wait i can't wait she's gonna be a problem mm. bro said pathetic as he got stunned the cloud was poison not acid thank you sarah thank you appreciate it the cloud from the green dragon is more of a poison cloud gotcha gotcha okay yeah you guys are on it i appreciate y'all <laughs> everybody's so helpful i didn't even remember that he started seeing the matron right then and there that's crazy and i wonder if it's like one of those things where like because this is like such a catastrophic event right and all these people are dying i wonder if she's like legitimately there just making sure everything goes to plan the people who gotta die die like i don't know if this is just a coincidence and vax sees her just because vax sees her you know because he's gonna become the champion yeah this is crazy wow well, wow, I'm so glad that I'm like rewatching this already. There's like little things that I'm noticing. I guess it's not normal for the dragons to attack together. So them all coming together, it ain't even like a thing really then that they really 
mess with each other like that it's just that one of them being thordak is probably just that strong he's got command over him because he's just stronger that's how that works and i guess you know that little hierarchy they're making but really all of them are all pretty selfish they want to have their own piece of the pie and they're probably plotting on a downfall so that makes sense you know what happens especially because of like what gilmore just said it's such a shocking thing that dragons work together must never happen I'm sorry, bro. But that run was where 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 were you getting with that run, brother? Bro said this 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 is the run. This is the run. You getting away from a dragon like this? You running for his life like this? That might have been natural selection. Right there, that's crazy. Oh, I think that was the guy too. Was that the same guy in season one when uh Scanlan had that uh that that cod piece on? It was like all shiny. This was like I think this is when we first really saw Delilah and Silas, the the Delilah, Delilah and Silas, and they all fought in the back after the banquet. That is him, right? I forgot about the old dude that fell. Yeah, 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 that is him. That is him. Okay, okay. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So yeah, I'm not I'm not tripping. Okay. And he really oh I just caught what you did there, Ninja Master. <laughs> I just caught what you did there. Clever. I appreciate that. But it is kind of funny, isn't it? It's a little poetic. Could that have been foreshadowing? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, beats of love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the auto caption said Rachel. <laughs> would not be nearly as intimidating if the dragon pulled up and was like my name is rachel raishan's way better no disrespect to anybody named rachel out there i'm just saying those are pretty but also ominous intruders what is that thing because i'm assuming that's all of their eyes because when she walks up to it one two three four there's four dragons was that a spell they can just put like their eyes on something to see it kind of weird because it just looks like a like a like a rock let's go <laughs> i wonder if that actually happened in the uh campaign he should have aimed a little bit higher man he aimed for the chest you gotta go for the neck grog you should know this after episode two season one <laughs> damn damn i got about that damn you know what? <laughs> You're a real one for that. He a real one for that. Percy, uh, he came through. <laughs> and there it happens again. But why now and not, you know? I guess Thordak is the one that she can sense. Thordak demands capitulation. Submit to the symptoms. Did such a good job, dude. I'm glad that he was able to do all of his lines for season three. I know that shit must have hurt. Because imagine, like, you know, Grog doesn't have any armor. He's just bare, just mm. And I know he's got constitution. We've seen him swim through acid before, right? But still, to hold a door like that with heat, because I don't know if you guys caught it, but Thordak just, like, took a step and, like, these steel poles just, like, melted, and it wasn't even being touched by any fire. He was just that hot. So imagine being blasted with heat from somebody that's hot, that that's that hot, and you're holding, like, a steel door, I guess, to try to block it out and shield your friends, but that's, like, bare, <laughs> my bad, you're, like, bare, you know what I mean, skin on the, oh, buddy, I think she can oh, no. sense all of them. Raishan just built different. Ooh, they just outran that. Those fucking golden actually helped us. <laughs> I forgot season one. They had a whole bunch of trouble with the doors. That is so cool. What? You're dead, son. <laughs> yeah, you know what's crazy about that? I don't know if I said this when I initially reacted to it, but blue flame is hotter than red flame, if y'all don't know. It's already hot. He's making blue flame. That's actual flame and not like ice. Bro is crazy strong. Oof. Yikes. This might be the world. Not for us, Kenneth. Mm, basically is. 
20 feet tall or bigger damn yeah they they, they big they big bro the like the destruction is insane you know uh what's crazy is that like they're so powerful right why wait till now to do this with just the four of them they were able to basically effortlessly just take out was this Taldore, right? I feel like they didn't have to wait this long. Like, I know that there's a purpose that we're going to see at the end, but it's like, <laughs> uh, did they need it? Did they really need that? I don't know if they did. I guess they got bigger, bigger Check things to, to do, which is what we're going to see in season three. At least you healed my face. That's the most important part anyway. <laughs> well, second most important. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> if you, if, if you catch his cold. If you're picking up what he's putting down. Preferably discount items. Ah, screw it. Take it all. Go. This is something that I said in uh, Escape from Bloodkeep. There's no use in, in, in attaining treasure, gold, currency, right? To be rich. If there's nobody to sell to. If there's nothing to spend those riches on that you would want. If everybody's dead and everything is destroyed. What good is all that, you know, riches, the gold? So I'd be just like Gilmore, bro, take whatever you need to take right now. Just take them all out. I can always, you know, do something else with the store. I'll just rebuild. That's just my thought on the whole thing. There's no need for you to <laughs> be like, nah, you got to pay for that. I'd be like, really? At a time like this. Fabled lance of dragon slaying. Of course. Is the fabled uh, lance of dragon sling, is that like a thing in, in like the actual lore? Like has it actually been used? Because that's crazy. That shit bent like it was a aluminum foil, bro. It couldn't have been that good or that sturdy. We see how thick the hide of the dragons are, but hey, maybe, maybe that's just me. It radiates dark magic. Are you sure you know what it does? <laughs> sure do. Chops up dragons. Silas's sword was just lying around like that? Did I not see something? Am I missing something? That's crazy. They're so rare. And they literally had one at Gilmore shop and it just Are you sure you know what... I thought dragons didn't get along. That's what worries me. Their alliance could mean the destruction of Taldore. That's what I'm saying. And it's just overrated. You know, just the four of them, right? It's four. It's gonna be crazy season three because you know. Everybody inside. It's gonna be fine. Oh, uh, and hey, if you go in my room, that's like a totally normal swing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> Give them a break, brother. Give them a break. Yeah, bro, that's insane. Imagine getting blasted with something that freezes you in place like that, dude. I... All of their powers together is just crazy. Crazy synergy. And I'm talking about I'm talking about just the dragons. Crazy, dude. Like how do you fight that? Yeah, they can all use magic. Am I starting to get predictable? Starting to? <laughs> Damn, bro, they can all use magic and they're that strong. That is crazy. You better get those fucking kids. There you go. There you go. If he's important to you, then he's important to me. Mmm. You know what I just realized? All I'm gonna say is I color. What exactly is the plan against four dragons? I'll ever play Dark Souls. You just gotta roll, man. Vasselheim, the oldest, most defensible city in the world. Vasselheim. So interesting to hear all these names and like know a little bit more about them now that I've seen Calamity. Scanlan, we have to try, right? You don't have to do anything. The character growth is insane. That's all I'm gonna say. Or it's gonna be insane, I should say. That's right, man. Look what you did. Look what your good deeds now, did, brother. I can't do my world tour without the rest of the band. Oh, you gon' you gonna get a band. You gonna get a very interesting uh Legends member from that band too. To Vasselheim. To Vasselheim. Huzzah. Bro, that destruction is crazy. It looks like a nightmare scape there, dude. It looks it literally looks like hell. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm so good with this stuff, right? I'm gonna tell you why. Because I predicted so much that I was right about in my initial reaction, bro. And I'm still catching on to things now. Good ass episode. I mean, we all know things are gonna get a little, get a little spooky, a little spooky for the, 
for the peoples crazy uh first episode i remember when i like when i first saw it i was like blown away by that because it's like how do you win you know but we just got off of the season one having to deal with delilah and silas the odds of defeating them seemed so slim uh with their with everything they had planned and just how strong they were in general and i i'm like damn it, it can't get any worse than that this next season happens and uh literal multiple dragons so we're gonna see what happens at the end of this at the end of this season I'm, I'll, I'll talk about it you know when it happens but again it's one of those situations where it's like i i don't know i i know that the team has gotten you know stronger by the end of the second season but i yeah i really i don't know how that's gonna work out for them um a fortune cookie i just got a moment of serenity awaits you tonight I think it's watching the stream, to be honest. I would like to think so. 